Can a 3H drive ratcheting adapter with a cordless drill start your generator? Let's find out. First thing you want to do is get to the nut on your crankshaft. In my case, it's a 15 16 Just a brief explanation of how this is going to work. It's set to counterclockwise. If your engine has to turn counterclockwise to start, that's up to you to figure that out. You'll want to set your ratchet adapter to go counterclockwise. Your cordless drill driver is going to go here, and you can see clockwise she ratchets. Counterclockwise, it will lock up. See how it locks up? Now, when your engine fires, here's what happens. Watch my left hand. The engine is running. And it is safely clicking away, giving you plenty of time to get it off without destroying your cordless drill or more importantly, breaking your wrist. My engine has to turn clockwise. We're going to set this to go clockwise. Okay, clockwise, it's locked up. Counterclockwise, it's clicking away. The drill is going to turn it hard clockwise. Once my engine fires, watch my left hand. She free wheels, clicking away, giving me time to get it off without tearing up anything. Let's try it. Okay, here's our components. We've got the ratchet adapter. We have the 3 inch drive with the uh, quarter inch hex on it. Okay, I do not have a 3 inch drive 15 16 socket for the crankshaft nut. No problem. We'll put on a 3 inch to a half inch adapter. And now our socket. The whole rig will insert in the drill. You can try it on your clutches, but it's been my experience on a fairly large single cylinder engine even. You'll have to get way up there to, to the highest setting, or just go ahead to the drill setting. Turn the gas on, switch on. Keep in mind that a 3 8 inch ratchet or ratchet adapter it should be good for well over 100 foot pounds of torque, but we really don't know how well made and how hard the steel gears are and the guts of these drives are. They're made all over the world, so how many times can you start a motor with it before it explodes? How long will it last? Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, well as with anything, when you get into something like this, it seems simple, but be careful. A lot could go wrong. That engine locks up on you, the drill breaks, you can end up injuring your hand or your wrist. Okay, just double check, make sure you're doing what you want to do. You turn it clockwise, it locks up. Now this is very important. I've started this several times with this 3H drive ratchet adapter. Here's what happens. You saw me configure it to start. It locks up clockwise. It clicks and ratchets once the motor starts. Well, when I start that motor right now, what it does, the centrifugal force operates this switch and it put it into the lock position right here. If you don't reset this and you start that motor, you're going to tear up the drill, the ratchet, or break your wrist. So in that respect, I favor the concoction I made with all these parts. Had a considerable more expense to making this. I'll attach the link at the end. But this is a one-way bearing without any trips, dogs, switches, selectors, whatever you want to call it. It's one-way bearing, period.
Nothing in it can break or fault. But thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.